trap shooting is one of the three major disciplines of competitive clay pigeon shooting. The other disciplines are skeet shooting and sporting clays. They are distinguished roughly as follows. In trap shooting, the targets are launched from a single house, or machine, generally away from the shooter. In skeet shooting, targets are launched from two houses in somewhat sideways paths that intersect in front of the shooter. Sporting clays includes a more complex course, with many launch points. There are variations within each group. Trap shooting is practiced all over the world. Trap shooting variants include but are not limited to international varieties Olympic trap, also known as international trap, bunker, ISSF trap and trench. Double trap also an Olympic event. Other non-Olympic include, down the line, also known as DTL, and Nordic trap. American trap is the predominant version in the United States and Canada. Universal trench. American trap has two independent governing bodies. The Amateur Trap Shooting Association sanctions events throughout the United States and Canada, as well as the Pacific International Trap Shooting Association which sanctions events on the west coast of North America. Trap shooting was originally developed, in part, to augment bird hunting and to provide a method of practice for bird hunters. Use of targets was introduced as a replacement for live pigeons. Indeed, one of the names for the targets used in shooting games is clay pigeons. The layout of a modern trap shooting field differs from that of a skeet field and or a sporting clays course. Trap shooting has been a sport since the late 18th century when real birds were used. Usually the passenger pigeon, which was extremely abundant at the time. Birds were placed under hats or in traps which were then released. Artificial birds were introduced around the time of the American Civil War. Glass balls and subsequently clay targets were introduced in the later 1800s, gaining wide acceptance. Arms and equipment, trap shooting is typically shot with a 12-gauge shotgun. Smaller gauge firearms can be used, but no allowance is given. Trap shooting is shot at either single or double target presentations. This refers to the number of clay targets which are launched simultaneously. Both general-purpose shotguns and more specialized target-type shotguns are used in trap shooting. Examples of trap guns are single-barreled shotgun or a double-barreled shotgun such as the Beretta DT-10, Browning XT trap, and SKBs. Shooters who shoot all sub-events will often buy a combination set of a single and double barrel for shooting both singles and double targets respectively. Self-loading are popular for recreational shooting due to the lower perceived recoil and versatility because they can be used for singles, handicap, and doubles. Shotguns used in trap shooting can differ from field and skeet guns in several ways and normally are designed with a higher point of impact as the targets are intended to be shot as they rise. Trap shooting shotguns can be adjustable. Stocks may have a Monte Carlo configuration and or include a comb height adjustment a but plate adjustment for length, angle or both. Trap guns typically have longer barrels, possibly with porting and featuring tighter chokes to compensate for the longer distances at which trap shooting targets are broken. The majority of trap shotguns built today feature interchangeable choke tubes as opposed to older guns which used chokes of a fixed constriction. Interchangeable choke tubes can come in a variety of constrictions and may use names such as modified, improved modified, and full. Trap guns are built to withstand the demands and stress of constant and lengthy repeated use, hundreds of shots in a single day of events, whereas typical field guns are built to be lighter, carried afield and not shot in such quantity. Common accessories include wearing a vest or pouch that will hold at least 25 to 50 cartridges or shells for singles and or doubles events. Most ranges and clubs require eye and ear protection. Shooting glasses may be something as simple as the eyeglasses or sunglasses one presently wears. Specialized shooting glasses systems, such as pillar typically have interchangeable colored lenses, are adjustable and designed for high impact resistance. A spectrum of different colored lenses are offered to compensate for light conditions as well as enhance the color of the target thrown while muting the color of the background. Adjustable glasses allow on range changes for conditions, light, color, etc. Hearing protection also comes in a variety of choice. 
dense foam and electronics are used to reduce or attenuate sound levels. Typical hearing protection is either an earmuff, or an earplug. Some shooters use both simultaneously to gain greater noise reduction. There are also earplugs that are molded to the shape of your ear, and can be used for listening to music while shooting. Equals trap machines and target launching methods equals, trap shooting requires the use of a target throwing device, S. American Trap and ETL utilize a single trap machine which is typically enclosed within a trap house, downrange from the shooter's shooting positions. The house provides protection of the machine and also acts to obscure the machine's oscillating throwing position. International or Olympic Trap employs 15 trap machines housed within a large elongated trap house which is recessed into the ground to form a bunker, and or resemble a trench. International or Olympic Trap may at times be referred to as bunker trap. Modern automatic throwing machines can store hundreds of clay targets in a carousel and systematically self-load targets onto the throwing mechanism. Manual electric target throwers require a person in the trap house with the trap machine, to set the target, S, by hand onto the machine arm. For both of these types, an electrical signal, from the push of a button or a sound-activated device, causes the trap machine to throw its targets after the shooter calls for their bird, S. Temporary or informal trap shooting can utilize other methods to launch targets. The simplest is a hand thrower which is a handheld arm which holds and releases that target when a person swings it. Another type of manual, non-electrical thrower utilizes a spring-loaded mechanism which is cocked and subsequently released by hand or foot. Ammunition American Trap typically uses lead shot ammunition, with shot sizes ranging between number 7 or 1 half and number 9. The major components of a shot shell are the hull, primer, powder, wad, and shot. The shot in a shot shell consists of 300-450 plus slash small spheres. Shot shells are allowed a maximum payload weight of 1 minus 1 over 8 ounce of shot. Velocity may vary, but is limited based upon shot mass, 1290 feet per second for 1 minus 1 over 8 ounce, 1325 feet per second for 1 ounce, and 1350 feet per second for 7 eighths ounce. Maximum loads are generally only needed for longer handicap yardages or the second shot in doubles trap. When required at certain trap clubs or ranges, steel shot is used with slightly larger shot size, quality ammunition is readily available from a variety of manufacturers. The more recognizable names include Winchester, Remington, Federal, Fuki and Rio. Ammunition may be marketed as premium, or other. Manufacturers price their ammunition accordingly. Remington prices their STS Nitro family higher than their gun club line of shells. Federal prices their gold medal and federal paper shells higher than their top gun or estate lines. The quality of the hull construction, shot, powder and primer components impacts the price of shot shells. Reloading or self-loading of ammunition is popular among a segment of trap shooters due in part to the sheer quantity of ammunition used in trap shooting. Reloading can be economical. The ability to customize a shot shell recipe to one's shooting, makes reloading attractive and adds another dimension to the enjoyment of shotgun shooting sports. History, trap shooting dates back to 1750 in England. In the USA it began in 1831. Originally, live birds were used as targets, released from under hats. Glass balls came into use as targets in the 1860s and began to partially replace live birds. In 1880 clay birds were invented. Shooting of live birds is still practiced in some parts of the United States. The first automatic trap machine was used in 1909. International versions. Equals Olympic trap equals, Olympic trap is one of the ISSF shooting events, introduced to the Olympic program in 1900. The current version was introduced in 1950. In international competitions the course of fire is 125 shots for men and 75 shots for women. There is a 25-shot final for the top six competitors. Several photos of a bunker facility are shown. Olympic trap is also referred to as international and or bunker trap. 
Olympic Trap uses 15 fixed angle machines as opposed to the single oscillating machine used in American Trap or DTL. The 15 machine computer controlled program is designed to deliver 10 left, 10 right, and 5 straight away targets to each competitor in a randomized sequence. A microphone release system is employed to provide uniformity in target release times. The process of a round is as follows there are six shooters, one to each station with the sixth shooter initially starting at a holding station immediately behind shooter number one. At the beginning of first round of the day, test firing is allowed at the referee's permission. Upon receiving the start signal, the first shooter has 10 seconds to call for his target. After firing at his target, the first shooter waits for the second shooter to complete firing, then moves to station 2, with the shooter on station 6 smoothly moving to station 1. This procedure continues through the squad until the completion of the round. Generally, the round is refereed by a person on the line, behind the shooters. They use a bicycle type horn or similar, to signal lost targets. He is assisted by one or two flankers to either side of the bunker who keep score. With modern technology, computer screens are now used both at the bunker and perhaps, in the clubhouse showing the rounds progress. In major matches, there will be a large, perhaps one a 2.5m or so board to one side that shows the scoring status clearly to all with large tiles, white to show hits, red to show misses. The guns may be loaded a euro, but open act you need a euro between stations 1 through 5. The gun must be unloaded and open in the walk from station 5 back to 1. The unloading must be done before the shooter makes the turn to step off station 5. This open action requirement alone tends to discourage the use of auto-loading shotguns as it is time-consuming to unload if the second shell is not used. Additionally, there are issues of reliability and the loss of the advantage a more open choke of the over-under shotgun type can provide for the first shot. Since the UIT, now ISSF, mandated the 24-gram shot load effective back in 1991, chokes have tended to become tighter. Often competitors will use 0.64 a euro 0.72 mm for the first barrel and 0.80 a euro 1.00 mm for the second. Guns are regulated to shoot dead on all, at most 5 a euro 8 cm high. Considerable effort is expended to ensure a perfect fit as the relatively high 100 km per hour exit speed of the target allows no time for conscious compensation of a poor fit as it so often can occur in the slower 64 km per hour exit speed target games of American Trap and Skeet. Equals double trap equals, double trap is a relatively new trap form. An Olympic event since 1996. Two targets are thrown simultaneously but at slightly different angles from the Station 3 bank of machines. The target speed is about 80 km per hour, very close to that of ATA doubles. The only unique item in that the targets are released with a variable delay up to one second. This was instituted to minimize the practice of spot shooting the first target. The ISSF has continuously adjusted the difficulties of its disciplines trap, skeet and double trap. To minimize the number of perfect scores, unlike ATA NSSA where perfect scores are the norm. Missing a single target in a large ATA or NSSA match means the competitor has a limited chance of winning, whereas missing a target in bunker or international trap still allows a competitor a good shot at victory. With her victory in women's skeet shooting at the 2012 London Olympic Games, Kim Rode became the first American to medal in five successive Olympic Games. Her prior Olympic medals were for doubles trap shooting in 1996, 2000 and 2004 and for skeet shooting in 2008. Nationally and regionally recognized versions. Equals American Trap equals, American Trap is popular throughout the United States and may be the most popular form of clay target shooting in North America. It is widely practiced at clubs and facilities that offer trap shooting. Trap shooting outside of any official event is common and arguably the majority of American trap trap shooting. Most official events are governed by the Amateur Trap Shooting Association or ATA and its rules. The ATA is the primary governing body of American trap shooting and is one of the largest shooting sports organizations in the world.
The Pacific International Trap Association is an independent governing body, and is active in the western U.S. and British Columbia. PITA rules are nearly identical to ATA rules. Trap shooting outside of official events follows ATA rules and norms to widely varying degrees. The ATA hosts the Grand American World Trap Shooting Championships, which is held every August. After decades in Vandalia, Ohio, the Grand moved to the New World Shooting and Recreational Complex in Sparta, Illinois. The Grand attracts 4,500 shooters for the 13-day event. It was billed as the world's largest shooting event until the USA High School Clay Target League's Minnesota State Championship reached over 5,000 participants in June, 2015. The Grand American is still the largest ATA event. The ATA sanctions registered trap shooting competitions at local clubs and facilities throughout North America, and it coordinates own competitions leading up to the Grand American each summer along with satellite grands throughout the U.S. State organizations hold state championship shoots each year, which are coordinated with and sanctioned by the ATA. American trap is broken down into three categories, singles, doubles, handicap. The targets are thrown by a machine located at approximately ground level and covered by a trap house. For singles and doubles, there are five stations, each 16 yards behind the trap house. In singles, each competitor shoots at five targets from each station. The trap machine oscillates left to right within a 54-degree arc, and at least a 34-degree arc, and the competitor does not know where in that arc the target will emerge. In doubles, the machine does not oscillate, but throws two targets simultaneously with each competitor shooting at five pairs from each station. In the handicap events, the machine operates the same as in singles, but the shooters stand farther away from the trap house. Recent changes specify a minimum handicap yardage of 18 yards. Each time a competitor wins an event or shoots a score of 96 or higher, as he may earn additional yardage and must thereafter shoot from farther away from the trap house. The increase in effective distance is designed to increase difficulty. The maximum distance at which a handicap sub-event is shot is 27 yards. Safety regulations prohibit members of a handicap squad from shooting at varying yardages of more than 2 to 3 yards apart, depending upon the handicap classification. In American Trap, each shooter is allowed only one shot per target unless the target was an illegal target, in which case the target is either broken or has broken regulations the shooter may reshoot that bird. When shooting American trap for practice or fun, a squad of up to five individuals will shoot a round of trap which equals 25 targets per participant. Registered ATA events may require each shooter to shoot 50, 100 or 200 targets, depending upon the scheduled sub-event. Many of these shoots are for personal average or handicap yardage. ATA rules specify that shotgun gauges larger than 12 gauge are not permissible. Maximum shot velocity is 1290 FPS for shot charges up to 1 and 1 8 ounces and 1325 FPS for shot charges up to 1 ounce. A variant of standard trap is wobble or wobble trap. The main difference is a more variable target flight path than in standard trap shooting because the trap machine oscillates up and down as well as side to side. Shooters are allowed two shots per pull, and shooters at stations 1 and 5 stand at the 18-yard mark while positions 2 a Euro 4 stand at the 17-yard mark. Although this version of trap is not sanctioned by the ATA, many shooters consider it to be both more challenging and engaging as well as a more realistic preparation for bird hunting. Equals other nationally and regionally recognized forms equals, down the line is a form of trap popular in Great Britain, Australia, and South Africa. The trap machine oscillates left to right within a 45-degree arc and each competitor shoots in turn, then moves station after having attempted five targets from each station in each round of 25 targets. Two shots are permitted at each target, but second shots incur a points penalty. Three points are awarded for each first barrel hit, two points for a second barrel hit, and zero for a miss. A perfect score in a 100 target competition is written as 100 300. The points score, rather than the number of targets hit, 
determines the winner and is used to determine classifications. In the Nordic countries and Great Britain, a form of trap formerly known as Hunter's Trap and now as Nordic Trap is popular. It is easier than the Olympic version. Etiquette and Practices Trap etiquette is expected and practiced more fully during official and competitive events, but, to a lesser extent, also during informal shooting. American trap shooting, more so than other shooting disciplines, including Olympic international trap, develops a certain rhythm to a squad timing between shots. The manners of any other squad member, s, can affect the performance of individuals within a squad. Most persons using a semi-automatic shotgun employ a shell catcher, an ejected hull hitting an adjacent shooter in the head or arm can certainly disrupt their concentration. Most shooters carry a few extra shells in case they drop one or have a misfire. Shooters usually avoid picking up any dropped shell, or other item, until after the fifth shooter has fired their fifth shot at the station and the squad is about to rotate to the next position, or sometimes until the end of the entire round. Idle chatting between shots, vulgar calls, and unnecessary movement can be generally disruptive. Commands from the scorer and other shooters are as important to squad timing as the behaviors of the shooters on the squad. To start a squad the shooter will ask if the squad and puller are ready, followed by asking to see one free target, traditionally saying, let's see one. Especially during official and competitive events the scorer will call missed targets with a command of, loss, lost, etc. When the first shooter has fired their final shot of the position the scorer will sometimes call end, or ready, and will command all change, or please move after fifth shooter has fired their last shot. The shooter on position 5 then moves behind the rest of the shooters on their way to the first station and will signal when he is ready to the first shooter who is now on station 2. The standard call for a target is pull, but many shooters like to use their own variations of pull or words that will help them concentrate on the target. Such as, a euro o yaha euro, a grunt is acceptable, some may even use a whistle or beeper. Technique, the technique for trap shooting is fundamentally different from rifle or pistol shooting. The latter shoots one projectile and aims to place accurately at a usually stationary target, and usually with at least a few seconds to aim. Trap shooting involves shooting hundreds of pellets at a time at a target that is moving quickly downrange, and often quickly laterally, typically with less than a second to move the gun and fire. Instructors generally refer to the process as pointing the shotgun rather than aiming it. Champion Shooters Captain Adam Henry Bogadus, born on a farm on Rabin Road in 1834, became the world champion and United States champion trap shootist. He is credited with romanticizing trap shooting and he invented the first practical glass ball trap in 1877. He and his sons were renowned crack shots that toured with the Buffalo Bills Wild West show. He is in the Trap Shooting Hall of Fame. William Frank Carver Doc William Frank Carver, defeated Captain Adam Henry Bogadus, world champion and United States champion trap shootist, in a series of 25 matches 19 times. Vic Reinders, won 11 Grand American Championships, including the Clay Target Championship in 1958, and has the distinction of being on more All-American teams than any other shooter in history. He is a member of the Trap Shooting Hall of Fame, the Wisconsin Trap Shooting Association Hall of Fame, and the Wisconsin Athletic Hall of Fame. Colonel Ray Arvard and Singh Rathor, career highlights, he won the individual gold medal setting a new Commonwealth Games record, 192 targets out of 200, which still stands. He has won gold medals in two World Cup shooting competitions, in 2004 and 2006. He went on to be the world no one in early 2004. He has won silver medal in Athens Olympic Games. Harlan Campbell Jr. won over 125 Grand American awards, including three all-around and two high overall championships, and over 60 satellite grand titles. He is a member of the Trap Shooting Hall of Fame and the Kansas Trap Shooting Association Hall of Fame. CMD Mike Pivel 1995, born 1961 in the United States. He is known for the 18 of 18 in competition. 18 seconds, 18 shots, all double clays from 60 meters. Kim Road, 
She is a five-time U.S. Olympic medal winner including three gold medals and six-time national champion in double trap. She won a gold medal in skeet shooting at the 2012 Summer Olympic Games, equaling the world record of 99 out of 100 clays. Susan Nitras O.C., born in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Competing at an elite international level from the 1970s through the 2010s, Natras has had multiple appearances, in one or both of trap or double trap, at Olympic Games, Commonwealth Games, World Championships, and Pan American Games. Natras is a repeat world champion and repeat medalist at the Commonwealth Games, World Championships, and Pan American Games. As of the 2012 Olympics, Natras is one of only 122 athletes, all sports, to compete in at least six Olympic Games, appearing in 1976, 88, 92, 2000, 04 and 08. She won a gold medal at the World Championships in 1974, 75, 77, 78, 79, 81, and 2006. She is also a member of the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame and the Amateur Trap Shooting Association Hall of Fame. Youth shooting, trap shooting is becoming ever more popular among younger shooters. There are a number of programs geared towards encouraging youth shooting. In October 2008 the Amateur Trap Shooting Association launched its youth program, AIM. This program, focusing on academics, integrity, and marksmanship, is to provide a safe and positive experience with firearms for youth, elementary through college age. AIM encourages good sportsmanship and personal responsibility through competition in order to make trap shooting a lifelong avocation. Categories and classes are designed to create a more level playing field and encourage genuine competition. Age-based categories are established on the birthday of the shooter. Categories are pre-sub, sub-junior, junior and graduates collegiate. For purposes of determining age category the category declared by the participant on the first day he she shoots shall be used. AIM shooters have the opportunity to compete at local and state provincial levels as well as at the Grand American World Trap Shooting Championships. The AIM program offers the opportunity to compete in a unique sport that is heavily reliant on mental focus as well as enjoy the thrill and excitement of registered trap shooting. To encourage young shooters, the ATA provides special categories for younger shooters who compete at ATA events. These categories include junior class for shooters who have not turned 18, and sub-junior for those not yet 15 as of the beginning of the ATA trap year. The ATA also allows shooters under the age of 18 to shoot for half price at the Grand American as well as many other large ATA-sponsored shoots. The ATA and state organizations such as the Texas Trap Shooters Association award scholarships to college-bound trap shooters based on citizenship, scholarship, and need. Numerous former TTA junior shooters are now attending college with the help of TTA and ATA scholarships. The Scholastic Clay Target Program promotes gun safety, personal responsibility, and sportsmanship among primary and secondary students. Teams compete at the local state, and national level. Athletes are divided into four divisions based on academic grade level and experience, rookie, intermediate, junior varsity, and varsity. Trophies and college scholarships are awarded to third place, runner-up, and champion squads in each division at the SCTP National Championships, which are held concurrently with the first two days of the Grand American Trap Shooting Championships in Sparta, Illinois. The USA High School Clay Target League runs high school trap shooting leagues in various states nationwide, the largest of which is Minnesota, where over 8,000 students from nearly 300 schools compete. All teams in USA HSCTL leagues are school sanctioned as a prerequisite for team league formation. The Minnesota State High School Clay Target League Championship is the largest youth trap shooting event in the world with 3,948 student athletes in 2014. Additionally, non scholarship college teams are growing in popularity. Leading college trap teams include those from Texas A&M, Purdue, Virginia Tech, and Linewood. Teams from these schools dominate the U.S. Intercollegiate Trap Championships. See also Live Pigeon Shooting References
A B C D E F G H Shotgun Games by Jeff Johnston Managing Editor American Hunter Magazine July 2013 pages 40, 41, Pillar Sport Canada. Pillar Sport Canada. Retrieved October 26, 2015. Bin Salem Pigeon Shoot Highlights Need for New Law in Pennsylvania, Amateur Trap Shooting Association Home www.shootata.com. Retrieved October 26, 2015. HTTP, KSTP Comster is S3823276 SHTML, ABCDATA Rules, Bylaws, Policies and Other Shooter Information by Amateur Trap Shooting Association. Bandalia, Ohio, September 1, 2007. Reprinting page 48. The Little Trap Shooting Book by Frank Little, published by Further Adventures Incorporated. Auburn, California, 1994. Compiled from Frank Little's training articles in Shotgun Sports Magazine. ISBN 978-0-925120-25-0. LCCN 93-74033. Bogadus, Captain A.H. Inductees. Trap Shooting Hall of Fame. Retrieved February 22, 2015. Carver, W.F. Inductees. Trap Shooting Hall of Fame. Retrieved February 22, 2015. Reinders, Vic, Inductees. Trap Shooting Hall of Fame. Retrieved February 22, 2015. WTA Hall of Fame. Wisconsin Trap Shooting Association. Retrieved February 22, 2015. Members by year. Wisconsin Sports Development Corporation. Retrieved February 22, 2015. Campbell J.R. Harlan, Inductees. Trap Shooting Hall of Fame. Retrieved February 22, 2015. Hall of Fame Inductees. Kansas Trap Shooting Association. Retrieved February 22, 2015. Susan Nitras. Susan, inductees www.trofoff.org. Retrieved October 26, 2015. Morkin, Eric. Mark Dayton opens Trap Shooting Championship in Alexandria Twin Cities. Com. Pioneer Press. Retrieved August 5, 2015.